Hello and welcome to Clipping In. Wednesday the 13th of November we're heading into the Pennines and the sun has got his hat on. Hip hip hip! <laughs> First taste of winter. It's feeling like mid-November now. It was four degrees this morning when I set off at around half nine. But uh, sunrise about half seven, quite an extensive frost. So our uh, anticyclonic gloom, unseasonal mildness looks to be drawing to a close. If the forecast is correct, there's some heavy frosts and snow at the start of next week. I'll make the most of it, eh? I'm, uh, I've just left Todmorden behind. It's been an immensely frustrating first hour and a quarter with roadworks, go slows, sort of stop start, roll a bit, oh. and even the steep road from Sorby Bridge to Sorby was closed with a at the steepest part there was a sign saying diversion all the motorists having kittens trying to find which buttons to press on the sat navs oh. I followed one four wheel drive down from the balcony to Mytham Road and been lucky if they're doing five mile an hour you know as if it was some Himalayan death ravine <laughs> Brakes are all the way for me. Ah. Anyway, I'm starting to decompress. Hopefully, this road will open out soon and traffic levels will drop off. Balcony shot, looking down into Mytham Road and the Calder Valley. In that direction, London Foot and up towards Halifax. Looking over in the direction of Burnley quite misty and murky surprising this direction heads up and over towards Thievely Pike and Bake Up hopefully a little brighter back in sunny Yorkshire just while I'm stopped I thought I'd talk a little bit um, about fluid intake and hydration because it's it's tempting to think oh it's it's cold it's winter don't need to drink now just a one coffee stop will do and what sparked this off uh, I had an interesting exchange in comments on the home moss video about cramping on longer rides and dehydration and that reminded me of that uh, spectacular fail that I had on the 130 mile three peaks ride in June 2023 when I also got my fluid intake wrong and additionally, I encountered another cyclist uh, on Home Moss on Monday, and they'd ridden from Darnell, which is Sheffield. So it must be a 45, 50 miler, and yet they didn't have even a bottle cage on the bike. Uh, nice bike, winter bike, uh, Trek Madone, um, 105 Di2, like a 4,000 pound plus winter bike. But no provisions, well, certainly they didn't have a cage, so they were doing that ride I assume just a cafe stop somewhere which is yeah quite incredible what I would say even in these conditions you think oh I don't need to drink much but I base it around 300 mil per hour so like today uh, in terms of effort it's like four and a quarter hours for me nowadays so I need you know work it out I need like 1.3 1.4 liters and as you saw I've got two 750ml bottles there, so that's 1.5, and that should be fine. I won't be bringing much back on that. But, obviously in hotter conditions, uh, and if you're working harder, then your fluid requirements go up. But, you, I just thought it'd be worthwhile mentioning uh, 
<laughs> remember to drink even at winter as long as it doesn't freeze up and turn into a giant slush puppy if you remember the Panopticon rides from a few weeks ago that junction there where it says Rotten Stroll and then almost back on itself in about a mile leads to the singing ringing tree Panopticon I don't think the views will be that stunning today for me after this little false flat there's a final climb on the edge of Thievely Pike and then I drop down to Bake Up just a little addition to what I was saying on hydration on short rides in the cold obviously you don't need to put 300 mil per hour or whatever intake would decide on it's I would imagine most people they could they could take a litre's worth of dehydration before they feel any adverse effects so I would think even me I could go out for maybe three hours without a drink and wouldn't feel any ill effects but the problem then is once dehydration gets hold with the cramp the effects on your heart rate and everything else it's very very difficult to drink yourself out of trouble you can usually carb yourself out of trouble with bonk but you can't drink your way out of it so it's always best with hydration little and often keep it flowing ah yes the Pennines unmistakable Tootling over from Tubmerden, Walsden, over to Littleborough. Feeling very cold here with a sort of a, a dampness and that mist is quite naughty. I think I'll be climbing back up into that for Blackshaw at Blackston Edge. This is the site of that amazing single span electricity pile on. You can see it up on the hillside to the left there and then cables in the sky and somewhere on that hillside is the other tower tripping away at uh, Blackstone Edge you can see there on the right the old toll cottage and uh, There would be a string of cars, but you might have caught a glimpse of an older version of the Blackstone Edge Toll Road. Emerging out of the mist. It's not a Brock and Spectre, it's the White House. Nearly there. My glasses are fogging up too. Yeah, that's the last major climb of the day. Now normally I'd go back to Sorby Bridge on a nice minor road, but I have a feeling with that closure this morning and the detours that are in place. It might not be a might not be a smooth ride, so I'm gonna go main road straight down to Rippenden, follow the valley that way to Sorby Bridge. I hope we might get a view or two before I get to Rippenden. See what the mist gods have got in store for us. That little side road there branches off past the old um, Blue Ball Inn. You can maybe just see it on that hillside up there. And um, where that white building is, almost dead ahead, there's some really nice back lanes then that branch off. I went on one of them earlier in the year but there's another one that can take you on a really nice traverse route 
back towards Sorby village but uh, today with the closures I don't fancy it so we'll keep that for another time something else for another time the eagle eyed might have seen these uh, city frost 2 boots that I'm wearing all set for winter eh I'll talk about those in a future video interesting back in Yorkshire as I drop towards Rippenden and of course the sun's out because it's always like this in Yorkshire look at that Rippenden dead ahead with Rippenden bank behind swinging in that direction towards Mossmoor and that's the direction I've come from oh dear the uh, the ride home from Rippenden has been murder traffic lights roadworks stop start roll a bit stop start and then motorists they get bored at that speed so they start playing with the phones looking for updates and seeing if clipping in has dropped a new video you know all the essential stuff ah. anyway nearly home decompress again <laughs> apart from apart from the intro and the outro it's been a good ride I'll sign off for now and say see you soon back out maybe on the Yorkshire trails bye bye <laughs>